Kwemi Bamidele, representing Equity Central Senatorial District. Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, I move Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, I move that the Senate do receive and consider the report of the Judiciary Human Rights and Legal Matters Committee on the confirmation of the nomination of Honorable Justice J.T. Soho as the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. Mr. President, I so move. Very distinguished Senator Basiru Surajuddin so, Surah Ajibola Bashiru, representing the good people of uh, also Central Senatorial Districts. Mr. President, very distinguished colleagues, uh, you will please recall that the Senate at its plenary sitting on Tuesday, 29th October 2019, considered the request of Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for the confirmation of nomination of Honorable Justice John T. Soho for appointment as the Honorable Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. This appointment became necessary, distinguished colleagues, as a result of the retirement of Honorable Justice Adamu Abdul Kafarati after attaining the mandatory retirement age of 65 years, as provided by Section 291, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. In compliance with this requirement, the erstwhile Chief Judge retired on 25th July 2019, thus making the position of Chief Judge of the Court vacant. After consideration of Mr. President's request, the Senate referred it to the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters by order of referral dated 29th October 2019 for further legislative action and to report back with its recommendation. Mr. President, for the avoidance of doubt, the appointment of Honorable Justice Soho was made pursuant to Section 250 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, which provides as follows. The appointment of a person to the office of the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court shall be made by the President on the recommendation of the National Judicial Council subject to confirmation of such appointment by the Senate. It is on the strength of this provision that the appointment of the nominee was forwarded to the Senate. It should also be stated that Honorable Justice Soho is the most senior judge on the bench of the Federal High Court. He was recommended in order of seniority and preference by the Federal Judicial Service Commission to the National Judicial Council for appointment as the Honorable Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, copies of our reports have been circulated. Uh, let me emphasize that uh, two other distinguished members of the committee who could not sign before photocopies were made have signed this morning and they signed the original copy which uh, had been laid before Parliament. Senator Ike Ikuremadu and distinguished Senator uh, Abdullahi Adamu. That's in addition to the other uh, signatures you have on the photocopy. Mr. President, if I have your uh, permission, I would like to go to our recommendation and findings. Mr. President, the committee, after this screening exercise, deliberated on the nominee's suitability for the appointment and hereby make the following observations and findings. 
One, that the appointment of the nominee satisfied the requirement of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, and the Senate Standing Order 2015, as amended. Two, that Honorable Justice Soho has a wide range of experience, comportment, exposure, and possesses the requisite leadership qualities of a judicial officer to effectively run a court of such spread and complexity as the Federal High Court and can exercise restraint and uphold the dignity of the court and the litigants in the discharge of his official functions. Three, that there is no petition against the nomination for appointment of the nominee as the Honorable Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. And four, that he was appointed as the Acting Chief Judge of the Federal High Court on 26 July 2019, a position he held until his appointment by Mr. President as the Substantive Chief Judge. Finally, that the nominee is a fit and proper person for appointment as the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. Our recommendation, Mr. President, is that the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, having screened the nominee and being satisfied about his exposure, experience, performance, qualifications and competence, hereby recommend that the Senate do confirm the nomination of Honorable Justice J.T. Soho for appointment as the Honorable Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. I so move. Senator Gabriel Suswa. I am Senator Gabriel Suswa, representing Benue Northeast uh, in the Senate. Uh, Mr. President, I'm a member of this committee. I'm standing here to give credence to the report. I'm standing here, Mr. President, to give credence to the report as presented by our able chairman. And Mr. President, just urge honorable colleague that the nominee in question happens to come from my, my senatorial constituency. And as he said, uh, here is a man, character-wise, is a man that is most suitable uh, to occupy that position. Integrity-wise, Mr. President, is a man of unimpeachable character, uh, uh, integrity. And so, as uh, the chairman has ably presented, I urge my colleagues uh, to support the confirmation of this consummate gentleman who will give justice to the common people of this country. Mr. President, I so submit. Senator Emmanuel. I agree entirely with what my chairman has said. Just for the record, uh, uh, Mr. President, I think this is the type of what just so we are not accused of murdering the name of uh, justice, the lineage justice, uh, the spelling is not correct. I just wish on the decision so that the secretary will take care of it. Otherwise, everything that has been said about this man is correctly uh, put. Thank you. Okay. Senate resolve in the Committee of the Hall to reconsider this report. I saw report of the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters on the screening of Mr. President's nominee for appointment as the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court and approve the nomination of Honorable Justice John Temba so as the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Hall? Confirmation. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Honorable Justice John Temba Soho for appointment as the Honorable Chief Judge of the Federal High Court? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. The confirmation of uh, Honorable Justice John Temba Soho is hereby approved. Let me congratulate the uh, the nominee, and we are wishing him the best of tenure, the justice, the, the, the judiciary in, in Nigeria is supposed to be a very uh, active one, 
we need to also have a better capacity for the judiciary. They have so many cases to handle and they are overwhelmed. I think this National Assembly should work together with the executive to create a better working environment and of course create um, a situation where they will have more hands so that they are able to, to deal with numerous cases that we, we always uh, go to the judiciary for. But at the moment, I think they are overworked, they are overwhelmed, and they need our support. Thank you. Leader of the Senate. Thank you, Mr. President. I am Michael Okwemi Bamidele. I represent Ekiti Central Senatorial District. Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, I move that the Senate do receive and consider the report of the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters on the confirmation of the nomination of Justice Benedict Bakwap Kanye for appointment as President of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. I so move. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, you will recall that the Senate at its plenary sitting on Tuesday, 29th October 2019, considered the request of Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for the confirmation of nomination of Honorable Justice Benedict Bakwap Kanye for appointment as the Honorable President of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. This appointment became necessary as a result of the retirement of Honorable Justice B.A. Adejumo, OFR, after attaining the mandatory retirement age of 65 years, as provided by Section 291, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. In compliance with this requirement, the erstwhile Chief Judge retired on 1st October 2019, thus making the position of Chief Judge of the Court vacant. After consideration of Mr. President's request, the Senate, in its wisdom, referred it to the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters by the order of referral dated Tuesday, 29th October 2019, for further legislative action and to report back with its recommendation. Distinguished colleagues, for the avoidance of doubt, the appointment of Honorable Justice Benedict Kanye was made pursuant to Section 254B, Sub 1, of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. It provides as follows. The appointment of a person to the office of President of the National Industrial Court shall be made by the President on the recommendation of the National Judicial Council, subject to confirmation of such appointment by the Senate. It is on this premise that the appointment of the nominee was forwarded to the Senate. It should also be noted that Honorable Justice Kanye is the most senior judge on the bench of the National Industrial Court. He was recommended in order of seniority and preference by the Federal Judicial Service Commission to the National Judicial Council for appointment as the Honorable President of the National Industrial Court. Mr. President, with your permission, since copies of the report have been uh, shared, I just would like to go to our findings and recommendations. The committee, after the screening exercise, deliberated on the nominee's suitability for the appointment and hereby make the following observations and findings. One, that the appointment of the nominee satisfies the requirements of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as well as the Senate Standing Orders 2015, as amended. Two that Honorable Justice Kain 
is an eminent jurist, a renowned professor of law, and a consummate academician whose numerous scholarly publications have contributed immensely to the development of law. Three, the nominee possesses the requisite leadership qualities of a high judicial officer with the capacity to exercise restraint and uphold the dignity of the court and the litigants in the discharge of his official functions. Four, that there is no petition against the nomination for appointment of the nominee as the Honorable President of the National Industrial Court. Five, that he was appointed as the Acting President of the National Industrial Court on the second day of October 2019, a position he held on his appointment by Mr. President as the substantive president of the court, and six, that the nominee is a fit and proper person for appointment as the Honorable President of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. Our recommendation, the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, having screened the nominee and being satisfied about his exposure, experience, performance, qualifications and competence hereby recommends that the Senate do confirm the nomination of Honorable Justice Benedict Bakwap Kanye for appointment as the Honorable President of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. Mr. President, I so move. Any comment? Would the whole consider the report of the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters on the screening of Mr. President's nominee for appointment as the President of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria and approve the nomination of Honorable Justice Benedict Bakwap Kanyip as the President of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Hall? Confirmation. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Justice Honorable Justice Benedict Bakwap Kanyip for appointment as the Honorable President of the National Industrial Court? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. The nomination of Honorable Justice Benedict Bakwap Kanyip for appointment as the Honorable President of the National Industrial Court is hereby confirmed. Just like the a previous uh, situation of uh, an additional uh, resources for our judiciary in the country. We, we have the same thing, but we believe that we can do better than we have in the past. We should look for some more resources to ensure that our judicial system is properly oiled and uh, function. With this brief remark, I want to congratulate uh, Honorable Justice Benedict Bakwap Kanyip on this very important uh, uh, confirmation, and we wish him the best of luck throughout his, his tenure. Leader of the Senate.